Y'all can't really hear me. Because I'm under the towel. I don't like water getting my eye. Because water burns. So that's why I got a towel. They hear you, baby. Flights, more champagne. Different places feel the same thing. As you grow, you see that things change. A 9 to 5 just help you maintain. Okay, so she's coming out of. This has a lot of debris, dirt inside of it. Um, build up from products. It's been two weeks since I washed her hair. And this is out of like just some twists. Avery is very tender headed. Um, I mean, extremely tender headed. And she's also scared of water. So, anything that sprays her in the face or anything like that, yeah, she's afraid of water in her eyes. She doesn't want, want it to touch her eyes, so should I say, and get in her eyes. So, that's why she has a whole towel over her head. <laughs> All I'm doing right here is I'm just giving it a quick rinse. Um, just to rinse out, it was kind of a little hard from any kind of from the gel that I had in her hair, just the Eco Styler gel, um, and also some of the freeze spray from Gots to Be Glued. So all I'm doing is just uh, rinsing everything out real quick. It tickles. It tickles. So this right here is how the rinsed out looks like, her rinse out. And of course all of her curls have been reverted back. All right, so for the products that I use, <clears throat> have I'm really big on Aussie moist um, anything with Aussie um, I'm very big on because even though I know it is not um, you know sulfate free but the slip that it has on her hair to detangle it is a lot and so I love to use it honestly this is a three minute miracle just get a little bit and this was really just to uh, get a good detangling out this just kind of gives me some kind of slip to go through. As you can see, it's literally like detangling it instantly. Hey, 
Avery is really tender-headed. As I know, we all know that Avery is very tender-headed and she's gonna probably try to put on a show as if it is killing her half to death, but please believe she does this all the time, each wash day. Wide tooth comb and just kind of go into sections of her hair loosely. You know, you don't want to snap or break any of the, sorry, you don't want to break any of her hair strands or anything of that nature. So you just gently detangle them as so. And working through sections. As I watch her also, I make sure I watch her different facial expressions because, you know, I'm not tender headed at all. So I have a lot more resistance than what she does. <laughs> then all I'm doing is taking it from the actual ends and I'm working my way up with just a slight tug just to detangle everything. Once I slightly detangle everything in that um, section, I move on to the second section, start with the ends, of course, and work my way down. I don't even get down to the base. I just work my way down to the middle of the hair shaft. Um, as long as I got the middle um, detangled, then that's just you know where I stop at. Because anything else, if I go down to the actual base, you know, it just gets too much for her. <clears throat> so I just wait till I wash it and then, then I do another process of detangling. So any kind of uh, shedding hair that you see is just natural sheds. Um, <clears throat> that's just from how she's worn her protective style. And you know, it's not because it's breaking off or anything from me combing and detangling it. Also, when I'm detangling, I actually um, like to grab this, the in middle of the hair shaft, I like to pinch that so it's not pulling directly from her scalp when I'm detangling. Um, I pinch right here and I like to grip that as I'm detangling. It's just a little bit of water. It's just a little bit of water. All right, so that one was all detangled. <clears throat> Going to the back, doing the same thing. This is just a light detangle. Like I said, it's just getting all of the nicks out and the kinks out um, to prepare and prep for actually shampooing. I never have to worry really about detangling the back because she has different um, textures of hair throughout her head. And of course, um, for her hair, the back is um, the looser curl pattern. It's always been like that ever since she was a little, little baby. Um, of course, um, the top of her hair is 
where it gets way more sensitive and where it gets way more tighter curl pattern in the front as opposed to the back. Please do not ask me what um, type of hair she has. I'm not really sure. I honestly think that it's probably about maybe um, 4B. I think it's probably a 4B in the front. Um, and definitely a 4A in the back. Only reason why I'm saying that is because I have 4C type hair and my hair and her hair are two different types, definitely. So I know that her hair is definitely probably 4B and 4A, a mixture of 4B and 4A. So now we're ready to rinse. I always like to test it on my forearm because that is the most sensitive. Shampoo time. shampooing all you're doing for shampooing the method for shampooing of course is to make sure that you get the roots that's what shampooing is for you work yourself in a lather to uh, make sure that you you can relax baby you can relax you ain't gotta hold up just make sure <laughs> that you are lathering the roots and shampooing the roots So since her hair is so thick, I make sure I get the nape of her head first and I'm doing a nice little scrub because she's had a lot of product back there for her edges. I'm making sure that I do a nice, I do a nice little scrub. I'm making sure that I do a nice little scrub around her hairline. And guys, and I got a lot of Yes, you do have a lot of hair. All right, so what I do from this point on is take those sections. I normally do a one big part. So one front, one top part as I make sure that it does not pull her hair once I'm making a part. So I do one top half and work my way up there first with this section, making sure that in the middle, it has enough shampoo in it so I can get a good scrub and a good lather. Now for her, um, the middle section, I'm actually using the nape or the base of my fingers to gently do a nice massage. Because when she do it on my nails, it hurts. When I do it with my nails? Because she's so tender headed up at the top. But I do like to give it a good scrub. I don't like to do um, just the ball points of my fingers. Mommy, you making me move. <laughs> okay. Okay. I know what my arms are. It's starting to hurt for some reason. Watch out. Yeah. Now we're doing, you can relax. Now we're doing the back side and we're giving it a nice scrub. And as I can feel, I feel like the scrub is kind of dwindling down. So I'm gonna get more pump. Shampoo. Okay. 
And in the back side, I'm actually going in circular motion with my actual nails and I'm giving it a nice little scrub. And that is the first shampoo. And I'm gonna do this twice. And then when she's done, she's gonna start to it. I mean, no, conditioner. Condition. Gonna condition afterwards. Well, yep. after when she did two. Yep, so that was number one. And that was number one, good job. Three. I need number, I, I'm doing number one, one rinse out, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna do number three and then. No, yeah. then I'm gonna do number what? Two. Two. Then you're gonna do one more, and that's number two. And that is con. Huh? That's conditioning. Yeah. make sure that with her thick hair you have to make sure that you are rinsing the middle as well because that part is where you'll get that buildup of that shampoo residue and that will if it's sitting in her hair for a long periods of time if you accidentally forget to rinse that part out or anything like that that will cause her hair to um, her scalp to dry out of course and it will you'll receive that chronic itching and then the dandruff will come so yeah you just make sure with thick hair like this you have to rinse everything out thoroughly all right so we're on to shampooing number two you got you got these things um lashes all over you <laughs> eyelashes shampoo number two Okay. Now, with the shampoo number two, we, we just gotta rinse it and then and then condition it. Why is it about shampoo? With the shampoo number two, we are actually going to take it all the way down to the base of her hair. Now, the first shampoo was just for the actual scalp, and we get a good scrub. Now, the second shampoo, I'm actually gonna bring it all the way out to her ends of her hair. And so that can, way you can get a good shampoo all over her hair. So we're giving it a good, nice scrub. Now this is when I leave all the hair together and I just give her a good scrub all over. Mommy, if I'm doing so good, I can get a, a lollipop. If you continue to do good. Okay. Sad I have to bribe her. I do like to give her some Tylenol afterwards because her hair, her actual scalp is so sensitive. I really do not know what kind of remedy I can use or anything to make her, her sensitive scalp like better when it comes to washes or even styling like she's just sensitive all over and it sucks because she has such thick hair <clears throat> so what I'm doing right now is I'm just making sure that I just grab the ends of the hair with a light little tug just so I can make sure that they are clean as well um, keep in mind guys I am not professional I have just been doing my hair and of course my daughter's hair now, um, but I have been doing my hair since I was in fifth grade. And I kid you not, I actually have been doing my hair since I was in fifth grade and I am 29 now. So um, I know it works best for my hair. <laughs> I've never had anyone doing my hair before. Um, I've never went to, well actually I have, I take that back. I went to a professional hairstylist um, one time and that was for prom. <laughs> one time, you guys. 
and I actually did go to um, a professional um, another time but that was just for some braids that I told myself I'll never go back to because my hair came out after I got those braids and ever since then I've been doing my own braids also um, but anyways yeah so I know what's best for my hair um, I know how to manage my daughter's hair and I've been doing her hair all her life and she's four <laughs> so um, yeah I'm not a professional but I'm just doing what's best for my hair and my daughter's hair so we have that good squeaky clean Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky clean. Now it's time to rinse. Now it is time to rinse. And what I like about this shampoo from Carol's Daughter, um, again, this is what it looks like. It makes her hair actually, you know, some sh shampoo um, solutions, it dries the hair out. I don't know, something about that shampoo, it actually makes it like, it has like a slip to it and it makes it feel like it's so soft like when I'm washing it it's really crazy I don't know and that is a natural product so it does not have any kind of sulfates in it so now that I am done with a good good scrub a good good scrub dub dub what is the next part my love rinsing rinse number two number two and then shampoo. Nope. And then <laughs> conditioner. conditioner. Why you guys are thinking about uh, shampoo, mommy? I don't know, girl. Cause you cuckoo -coo in the tutu. Cuckoo <laughs> -coo in the tutu. You cuckoo -coo in the tutu. <laughs> All right, here we go. A cuckoo in the tutu. <laughs> I got that from Auntie April. She used to say that all the time. When he was a baby? When I was a kid, when me, Cuzzo, and Auntie Brittany, when we were children. And y'all used to laugh? Yep. Wait, how do y'all live like? He's bad. We are not cuckoo. Cuckoo in the tutu. But she used to be like, y'all cuckoo. She used to be like, you cuckoo in your tutu? And you got Step three, three is conditioning. All right, so for the conditioner, I like to start off by using the As I Am. Um, this is the dry and itchy scalp care. This is actually co-wash, but I like to use it for um, uh, conditioner. As you can see, it's actually a co-wash right there, um, but yeah, I like to use it for a conditioner um, because it has that nice slip to it. Oh my goodness. And I love it. <laughs> you silly mommy. Now the thing about this, it has that, I don't want to get it over your face. It has that um, tea tree oil and tea tree oil to me personally stinks. It's so strong, but I know the perks of tea tree oil, so. And it smells like um vinegar. I don't, I, don't, I don't like vinegar smell. Vinegar. I don't like the smell of it. You don't like the smell of vinegar? No. Mm. Okay, it don't smell like vinegar. It kind of smells like peppermints, like a strong. Peppermint. Oh yeah, it do. Mm -hmm. So I, I like just to eat it. So I, <laughs> what? Make up your mind, girl. So I like to put it around the nape of her or the edges of her um, hairline um, first and foremost just to give that a good nice little condition. I also like to put it around the nape of her hair because if she has any kind of um, dryness around that hairline it would actually um, it won't you know prevent from breaking off or anything like that. You know those are the most common places where you get breakage. Um, of course, around your hairline, aka your edges, and of course, the the nape of your neck when you're doing any kind of protective styles such as high ponytails because Avery's signature is her bun, her top bun, right? Yeah. That's your go-to signature hairstyle. Different hairstyle. I don't know. Not today. I don't know. I'm going to do something. So once I'm done with that, I like to go into her actual hair the scalp 
and I'm gonna just lay this on in there thick. So it's gonna be nice and cold. Is it cold? Yeah. And I'm just working my way all around her um, scalp. All right, you guys, as you can see, my camera had actually died on me, but Avery went through a whole spell where the tender headed came in. <laughs> but so this is all after I have conditioned it and I have rinsed it all out. Turn around, baby. Keep turning. So now it's time to blow dry this because it's cold and I want to make sure that everything, I would let it air dry, but I'm going to actually blow dry it because we're going out somewhere. Um, and so I don't want anything to be damp. She's not catching any colds. So we got to make sure that everything is dry. But you guys see all this hair? Uh, yeah. Crazy, right?